If you think that you can vaccinate yourself to health or consume your way to wealth, if you think nature's a fool and humans aren't part of the pool of life in all its branches, then I sincerely wish you blessings and I think you're taking chances. Though I'd never dictate how you choose to feel great, I'd only ask the same weight for my perceptions and the actions I choose to take. Imagine if I told you that, for the good of all, you could no longer eat a takeout, drink Coca-Cola or consume fear Sorry, I mean media, globally owned by five corporations, but perhaps let's save that for a future explanation. <laughs> Imagine if I said that the science was in, that living a life of joy, natural food and movement was the solution and that you'd no longer be allowed to spend your days inside your house on your couch wrapped in fear, but you'd have to come outside, sit around the fire, make love, music, laughter and tears, give your time to serve earth and your relations for all your years. How would it feel if I dictated your state from my external place? It wouldn't work, would it? Because it's your body, your choice. <laughs> now, the people who say it's okay to poison the well, have you heard of glyphosate? Look it up, it's, it's living hell. Those same people are saying that they only care for getting back to normal in your health while they sit on the boards of the corporations selling medication that increases their wealth. Hidden in their words is a grain of truth. This society seeks to homogenize you, to normalize the way life comes through until you are nothing more than a resource. Consumable, disposable, broken like a wild horse, saddled, bridled with no conceivable recourse, drained, debrained, your energy a devoured force until it's too late and you say, I wish I'd bucked sooner, for my children are the next course. So here's an invitation from the heart of love in action. Take a breath and let it go. Feel your gut reaction. Step outside with bare feet. Begin recalibration. Be a rebel. Share a hug. Remember you're in heaven. And if all that is not enough, then please stop blaming those of us the millions hidden under all the noise and fluff who electrify our lives with truth beyond the lies. Healthy people are not responsible for dis-ease. That's not how nature works. So let us go. We're already free. <laughs>